from ketal isomers. Compounds having same molecular formula but different functional groups in their molecules are called as functional isomers. Right? So those compounds having different functional groups but the same molecular formula will be called as functional isomers. Let me take here an example of an ethanol. If you got here the CH3, CH2OH and another molecule is CH3, OCH3. This is dimethyl ether. Okay? Look at the two molecules. The formula is same for both. It is the two carbon C2, H6 and oxygen 1 in both the molecules. But they have the different functional groups. Right? Formula is same but functional group is different. Here you have an hydroxide group as a functional group and here you have an ethyl oxygen. This is an alcohol. Right? This one is alcohol and this is an ether. So these are the functional isomers. Compounds having same molecular formula but different functional groups are called as functional isomers. And we know that it is the functional group that gives most of the properties to the compound. So that means these functional isomers will have uh, you know the different physical and the chemical properties. No doubt they have the formula same but since the functional group is different they are you know, physical and the chemical properties will be totally different. Let's take few more examples of the functional isomers here. Functional isomer, as we discuss, is possible be between an alcohol and the ethers. It's also possible between aldehydes and the ketones. Correct? Aldehydes and ketones. Let me take here an example. CH3, CH2, COH. This is an aldehyde with three carbons here and hydrogen is 6, oxygen is 1. If write down the formula like this CH3, COCH3. Now this is a ketone, right? This is the acetone here. Okay? The formula is same, two carbons, six hydrogens and three carbons, six hydrogen and one oxygen. Here also the same, but this is an aldehyde. Okay, this is an aldehyde. The functional group is different. Here is an aldehyde. Here is a ketone. Properties are different. Therefore, these are the functional isomers. Molecules with same formula but different functional groups. They are the functional isomers. It's also possible with the carboxylic acids and the esters. Esters have a general formula of RCOR. And the carboxylic acids are RCOH. So you can rearrange here. The carbon atom, suppose if you take this particular carbon here and attach it to this one, you get a ester. So let me take an example, CH3, CH2, C double bond OH. And if I have an ester like this, CO, O, CH3 here, and then you have a CH3. In this one, you have a carboxylic acid. And this is an ester. Different properties, different functional groups. So these are the functional isomers. Formula is same, but functional groups are different. So these are functional isomers. Cyanides and isocyanides are also the functional isomers. Alright? You can have a bonding with the alkyl chain through the carbon in case of cyanides. And in isocyanides, it is the nitrogen that forms the, you know, uh, the bond with the alkyl group. So normally we write down the Cyanides as RCN and isocyanides are RNC. So these are again the functional isomers. 